Okay guys, so right now I am just gonna do a quick tutorial on how to draw a face. I understand a lot of people find this a little bit difficult, but it's actually pretty simple when you think about it. The big thing is you have to really pay attention to your proportions and take the time to make sure things are placed in the proper area. So when you do a face, you're going to start with an oval. All right, now that oval, if you look here, it does not have to be perfect. It just has to be the generalized shape of a face. So what I usually do is start like this, getting that shape down, it's a little sketchy. Then I take my eraser tool, or if you're just sketching in your sketchbook, a normal eraser, and I clean it up a little bit. Now, this shape is just a generalization you are going to add actual features to your face. So you can cut it down, you can make it large, you can make it smaller, add fat to your cheeks, um, or maybe narrow them out if your cheekbones are very prominent. There's a lot you can do. But generally, this is how it starts. I'm gonna just throw in the neck because it helps me position everything. So I'm gonna leave that there. The next thing you do after this is you put a line down the center of your face. Now this is important because generally humans are symmetrical. So that means we have to use this line as a guide to make sure our eyes and our nose and our mouths are in the same place and generally the same distance from the center line. Okay, so about midway through, I am going to put a line across. Okay, this is just a marker and it's going to help me position things. Now there are two, this area is going to break into thirds. So I'm gonna put a line here and a line here. Okay, so this is the nose right here and this is going to be my marker for the mouth. Now over here, I need to put in a line for the eyebrows and the eyes. So the eyebrows are probably gonna be over here and then the eyes are going to be over here. Okay, so now at this point, you need to make sure that everything looks right and is lining up. The worst thing that you could do is start drawing right now and not be sure of the positioning of things. So I'm looking at it and it looks generally normal. Now I'm going to start just crafting the face a little bit more because I have the positioning of everything. Try to make it as straight as possible. So. I'm gonna do straight lines here. I'm going to bring the head out a little bit more. Okay, based on the shape of my own head, I know I have a square jaw. So I'm going to do that as well. I'm gonna bring this down and bring this down. And then I'm just gonna fashion a square jaw and then make sure that there is a position for my chin. Now, if you are male, the lines of your jaw and the lines of your chin are going to be very, very hard. If you're female, those lines tend to be a lot softer and curvier. And I don't know why that is, but we just associate those things with male and female. So you want to make sure that you're doing the same. It doesn't have to be like straight up straight lines, but you should try to like go to that uh, stereotype just a little bit because it is going to help it make you more recognizable until you're a better drafts person and you're able to do this. Okay, so now I've got these basic things down. If you want a more detailed tutorial on the mouth and the eyes, I have those posted, so check those out. But right now I'm just gonna show you the positioning. So the tips of the mouth are actually line up with the inside of the eyes. So you wanna just use that, okay? So it's almost like I'm drawing an imaginary line. The nostrils also line up. Sorry, tips of the mouth are the middle of the lines, or the middle of the eye. So you wanna extend that. Nostrils are the inside of the eyes. So there we go. Okay. So I have those little markers set. What I'm gonna do now, and of course the eyebrows are right here still. What I'm gonna do now is start filling it in. I know those are the tips of the eyes, and I know that the nose makes an arc. So I'm gonna put this in like this. Nostrils are a circle and down. 
circle, and down. You try to look for different shapes that you know how to draw, and that'll help you get those shapes in there. Okay, eyeballs. Eyes are generally ovals, so I'm going to put those in. Again, if you want a more detailed thing on how to draw the eyes, I have that. It's posted separately. And then I'm going to put my eyebrows in. They don't have to be detailed yet. These are just lines that are standing in for them. Now here I'm going to put in my eyelids. My eyeballs. Okay, and my mouth. Mouth, again, is like a bow shape. So there's the bottom lip. And this center, like I show you on the mouth tutorial, denotes where the center of the mouth is. And that's usually a little indent. And then I can smooth out this hard line because rarely is your mouth actually a straight line unless you're very, very angry. Okay. Okay, so now would be the time where I go into the more tutorials about the eyes and the nose. I'm just going to put those in right now. Like I said a thousand times, if you're interested in them, please check out the tutorials and that'll show you how to do this more accurately. Okay, I'm just going to darken up the eyelid, make sure that the bottom is there. And what I want to do too is step back a little and ensure that both sides are symmetrical. So they should both look about even. There's that, there's that. Okay, make sure that eyelid is there. So I've got to put that in. Okay, my eyebrows are not straight lines, being mostly because I don't pluck them. So you want to fill that in a little bit, depending on what the shape of your own eyebrows look like. So if you look, I actually have a pretty good basic outline of a face. Okay, this area is all going to be hair. So this is the top of your skull. So right here is this is all hair. For me I have bangs so I'm going to put those in. Those bangs tend to go over my eyebrows but you might have long hair or some other uh, feature that you can use like you might be pulled to a certain side. My hair is long straight with bangs so that's going in there. All right. Okay, so there's my basic face. Now, before I go to the next part, what I wanna do is get my eraser tool. There it is. Make sure it's small enough, and I'm gonna start cleaning this up. Okay, so I'm taking out my guiding lines because I've put everything in them that I feel I need to. And then after I take out all my guiding lines, I'm gonna tidy this a little bit. All right. Cool thing about digital, you can bump it up and then you can actually clean a lot more effectively. This is probably my favorite thing about digital because I don't want all of these little lines around my eyes. And I want to make sure that this highlight is actually a highlight. Okay, so just cleaning up those eyes, making them nice and shiny. This line as well. Okay, you could also potentially get rid of this line before you start doing the um, the hair, but that's on you. That's your call. All right, let me zoom out and see if there's anything else that needs to get done before I start doing some refinement. All right, that looks okay. I'm going to go back to my pencil. And now I'm going to start tidying it up. Now the thing with Byzantine art is for some reason the nose is always very, very prominent like this so that you can see it and you can see the nostrils. They also tend to have a line under the eyes that highlight the orbital bone. 
So make sure that you include those as well. And for this too, I seem to have erased my tear ducts, so I want to put them back in. Your, if you have high cheekbones, you're going to have a line here to denote those high cheekbones. And also, please try to make sure that your pupils are about even in size. Otherwise, you look really weird. Okay, and then I'm going to add just some little details, like the line for the chin. Make sure that's in place. I'm going to shade in my eyebrows because they're darker. And then looking back and like making it smaller, I can see now and position my shoulders properly and my neck and my clavicles. Okay, so this is basically how to draw a human face. You start with that oval, a line going through, a line in the center, then the bottom goes to thirds, and you use that line in the center to create the bottom of the eyes, and then there's a line above for the eyebrows, and everything up here is hair, and the neck tends to go like this. Okay. Then you're just adding in details, adding in hair, that sort of stuff. I hope that helps clear it up. This is mostly how to do it in the Byzantine style. There are other styles to make it look more realistic, but Byzantines weren't really concerned with that. It's more a generalized thing. The most important thing about all of this is the positioning here. Spend the most time. You wanna position the eyes properly. You wanna remember that about half of the top of the skull is going to be hair. Okay, so don't try to shift everything up where the eyes are up here. It's going to look weird. Make sure that the majority of the face is happening at the bottom part of the skull. So like you could even go like this for the hair. So the majority of the face is happening in the bottom part of the skull. And that the center is really just the line for the eyes. It's the bottom of the eyes. Sorry, I'm trying to turn this off and it's being weird. There it goes. 